right and then let's go again to our question paper we have our answer sheets here i am carrying the question paper here and the answer sheet here all right then we have 3.2 3.2 3.2 it says calculate the amounts indicated by a to c on the cash budget we want to calculate the amounts indicated by a to c on the cash budget provided in information f so let us then go to information f yes exactly there is a cash budget in information f which is page 11 of your question paper there is a cash budget there and we need to calculate uh, the a a there is rent income a is rent income we need to calculate rent income and that is rent income for december and there is information e there which talks about rent income it tells us that rent income will be increased by nine percent per annum effective from 1 january 2022 so we are required to calculate rent income for december but we are told that in january rent income was increased by nine percent so it means a certain amount in december was multiplied by 109 over 100 to increase if you are increasing it by nine percent so a certain amount in december was multiplied by 109 over 100 to get the amount for january so we have january rent january rent is twenty thousand and fifty six which has got an increase of nine percent because this amount is, is is we are taking it from january which has got an increase of nine percent but now we want december we want december that was before increase so we want hundred percent of this amount so this amount includes the nine percent increase but we want hundred percent that's before so that will be multiplied by hundred over 109 you multiply by the percentage of what you want and divide by the percentage of the amount that is given so it will be 20 thousand and fifty six multiplied because we are reversing when you are calculating the entries going forward it, it would have been 109 over 100 but now we are reversing from december to from january to december so then it's going to be twenty thousand and fifty six multiplied by 100 over 109 let's calculate this it's twenty thousand and fifty six twenty thousand and fifty six multiplied by hundred divided by 109 that's 18,400 so rent income for that's rent income for december is 18,400 the rent income for december is 18,400 right b what is it that we are calculating with b we are calculating payments to creditors b we are calculating a payments to creditors payments to creditors and this is the payment to creditors for which month for january payments to creditors for january and let us then check how do we pay our creditors let's look for the information that tells us as to how do we pay our creditors remember the creditors we buy goods on credit from them so therefore we need to pay them back so if you look at page 11 again in your question paper information d we are told how do we pay our creditors we are told the first transaction there says 80 percent of the stock is purchased on credit and stock sold is replaced in the month of sales creditors are paid two months after the purchase month so if it is two months after the purchase month it means the amount that we're gonna be paying in january would have been stock that was purchased on credit in november because the transaction is telling us that creditors are paid two months after the purchase month so the amount that we'll be paying back in january will be this for the stock that was purchased on credit in november so let's then go and trace 
the credit purchases for November. We need to go and trace the credit purchases for November. And what is it that is guiding us? It is this transaction which says stock sold is replaced in the mind of sales. It means you need to go to the total sales for November because we know that the stock sold is replaced in the same month. If you look at the total sales for November, it is 798,000. And we also have the cost price of those goods because when we are buying, we do not buy with the selling price, we buy with the cost price. We have the cost price of those goods, which is 456,000. And if we are following this transaction, which tells us that stock sold is replaced in the month of sale, it means in November we had to buy for 456,000 to replace that stock. But 80% of stock is purchased on credit. So then it will be 456,000 taken from November cost of sales the stock that we need to replace in November, which will then pay that amount after two months because we are told that creditors are paid two months after the purchase month. So if we buy in November, it means it will then be December, it will then be December and then January we are expected to, to pay. So now 456,000, that's the total stock that we are supposed to buy to replace the stock that was sold in November. But 80% of stock is purchased on credit. So that will be 456,000 multiplied by 80%. 456,000 multiplied by 80% to get our credit purchases. 456,000 multiplied by 80%. 456,000 multiplied by 80%, that is 364,800, that will be paid in January. 364,800, that will be paid in January. Let's verify this amount, 456,000 multiplied by 80%, that is 364,800, that's correct. Please make sure that when you do your calculations, you check if you have calculated correctly. It is very important to calculate the correct figures. Right? C. What is it that is expected of us with alphabet C there in information F? We are looking at the cleaning services there. That will be the amount that will be paid for the cleaning services for January. My cleaning services for January. Cleaning services for which month there? That's January in the cash. How much is going to be paid for the cleaning services? Right? Let us look at the information that is, with guy, is going to guide us as to how we're going to calculate this amount for January. There is information E, the bullet 2 in information E in your question paper, which says, Shepstein traders undertake special and extensive cleaning and sanitation during December each year. This has the effect of increasing the cleaning services budget by 65% in December only. If you look at the cleaning and services budget for December only, it is 15,510. And we are told that this 15,500 has got an increase of 65%. So it is 165. So let us start by getting the 100% of this amount to take out that 65% increase. So let's multiply by 100 over 165 to get the original amount for the class without that 65% increase. Without that 65%, which is only in December because we are conducting an extensive cleaning. Therefore, that increases our cleaning budget by 65%. So let's go back to our original amount cleaning budget. It's 15,510 multiplied by 100 divided by 165. That is 9,000, the original cleaning budget is 9,400. Yeah, right. The original cleaning budget is 9,400. So the normal fee is 9,400. But there is a transaction that tells us there towards the end of that transaction in information E that the normal monthly fee is expected to increase by 5% per annum commencing on 1 January 2022. This is expected to increase by 5%. That's multiplied by 105. 
this is expected to increase by 5%. The 9,000 normal 400 amount, which is the normal cleaning services, is expected to increase by 5%. So 9,400 multiplied by 105 over 100. That is 9,870. So the total amount will be 9,000. 870 9870 yeah so the quickest calculation would have been just if you take the 15510 you multiply it by 105 and you divide it by 165 by 165 it will get you to the final answer of 9870 but i wanted to do it step by step so that you will understand because the 15,510 has got a 65% increase because we are conducting extensive cleaning in December. So we need to bring this amount back to its original amount, which is 100%. That is why we multiply by 100 over 165 to get the 9,400. And then to increase it by 5%, you multiply it by 105 over 100. That gives you 9,870. So we are done with 3.2 which was cash budget we had to calculate the amounts missing in the cash budget from a to c right 